Greetings, Commanders! Welcome back to another Bridge 22 video. Today we're taking a look at the Advanced Battle Tier 12 Airship, the Origin. Thanks to ALD's main ship, Bingo, we have footage and we have some uh, stats we can look at. Uh, for those of you that are frequenting Reddit and the Line Chat and the WeChat communities, you've probably, probably already seen this. Um, I decided to wait a couple days to make the video on it until I had a little bit more information, stuff I could actually use uh, to show people uh, what, what exactly Tier 12 is, other than just a video or two. Uh, that being said, let me stretch our screen out. There we go. We're using a new OBS interface for those of you that didn't see the last video. Hopefully this uh, hopefully this provides more of a platform for us to make more informational videos and uh, gives me a little bit of ease of use. All right, so let's jump over to the main screen. And here we go. We can jump into my Google Drive here. And uh, first thing I want to talk about is the ship itself. Now, we don't have the Tier 12 Walker or the Tier 12 Infantry yet to look at. Uh, but we do have the ship. And the airship right here is called the Origin. And we'll jump back into the game here, and I'll show you that. You can actually go into the Advanced Research tab, which is why I started there in the first place. Uh, and you can look here. So I don't have it unlocked. It costs a ridiculous amount of resources and a new, uh, a new, what is it called? A new reagent, if you will. Uh, let me put that there. Get a little lighting. There we go. Um, so that is the item itself. That was data mined from the game. I've showed that before. And then there was this provided by Bingo. Now just ignore the fact that he has. Uh, oop, let me switch that over. Let me switch. This was data mined from Bingo. Uh, I'm sorry. This was provided by Bingo. And uh, you can see he has like 14 million gold. Yeah, that's about right. He spends quite a bit on this game. But if you want to talk about the overall stats of the unit, uh, they're in line with Tier 9, 10, 11, and 12. So Tier 9 is 450. Uh, tier 10 is 600. It just goes up 150 all the way. So it's in sequence with that as well as the cost. The only difference between Tier 12 and Tier 11 is uh, it uses that new reagent, this new blue reagent. I don't remember the name of it. Um, at, while Tier 11 did not. It was still using the unlimited crystals, which are now available uh, to players by using the, oh gosh, pure crystals conversion with uh, shadow matter and, and cash. Okay. Uh, so, what most people want to see is the replay. So we've got two replays. Uh, we've got the big first replay that came out from Bingo, and you can see the ships here. Um, and then we've got the second replay. Now, there is a special skill. Let's go back and show that real quick. You'll see that there's a skill here, and uh, it has a, a reading, but obviously we don't have it in English yet. I don't know any English players that have this Tier 12 yet. Uh, so we won't be able to look at that, but I do know what it reads. I do know what the skill does, which is why I waited so long to make this video. I have confirmation, which I'm going to show you after this intro video. So here is the first look at the tier 12. We've all mostly seen this. I think I showed this, um, I think I showed this, ooh, a couple days ago. I don't know. Anyway, so pretty cool animation, pretty straightforward. It's a laser pulse. I mean, they look like Cadillacs in space. They're actually really cool looking ships. Um, not the greatest looking ships, but I do like the color palette they used. Um, so that's nice. Uh, the skill, though, the skill itself is a automatic trigger. Every time the unit attacks, this skill triggers. Now, we didn't see this skill uh, because he one-shot the entire slot back there in that awakening. Um, but in this one, we will. Sorry, I had to turn that light on. We're still figuring this setup out, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you think it's working, it's not working. Uh, any tips or tricks are useful and any interaction with the video helps the other subscribers and the followers and all that. So thanks for, you know, interacting. Okay. Uh, this skill here is what we're calling, I'm calling it soul burn because it, it, it works like Darurai soul burn. It works like lady and beast soul burn. Um, and let's just show the video first and then I'll explain that right after that. All right. So in this one, he's got tier three in the slot one just to, uh, just to, to start it off, in this video, Bingo is clearly attacking into someone. I don't think this is Ace of Galaxies. I think this is a legit battle, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I don't know that for sure, but he is attacking with uh, one unit in slot, one, and then because he wasn't sure if he would get first strike or not, maybe he was attacking or defending. I don't, I don't know. Bridge 22, so he probably had first strike. The opponent was probably bridge 21. He didn't realize that even though he was attacking, he would have first strike. Now, you'll notice, here comes Vega. Uh... Here, let's start it right there. So the other Vega is going to attack. Boom, tier 12 destroys it. Now, this next Vega goes, but you'll notice he doesn't trigger any skills. Now, that's just bad luck. But you'll notice that the ship itself did not trigger its skill. 
it is just a passive ability that's automatically attached. So here comes the generic attack on 500 tier 12. I hope you're following me here. He hits, but he doesn't one-shot him, right? So he does 308. He kills 308 with 969 on a base generic hit. I'm assuming he has his full gear on. So in reality, that's, that's really not that hard of a hit. Now, most people would assume, like, if you attack tier 9 into tier 7, you would this would obviously be a one-shot. But this is tier 12 into tier 11, so the advantage of tier 12 is not that high yet. Uh, but also remember, tier 11 has a massive amount of defense. And Vega's skills didn't trigger, otherwise he would have one-shot it. But the great thing about this replay is the tier 11 survives, right? The tier 11 on this side of the battlefield survives. So we are going to see that this hit from tier 12 did... 308, uh, 308 units, which equated out to be 500 or 51 million damage. Is that about right? Is that 51 million there? Now, what's interesting about that number, the base melee hit is 51 million. That factors in your opponent's defense and HP. But when this skill on the airship triggers, you're going to see a bigger number. So it's automatically applied. This Vegas turn is over. Now the other Vegas turn is going to start. But because he attacked, the, the debuff is attached to his opponent. Like a time bomb from, from Lady and Beast or a, a napalm bomb from Maruko. Oh, God, I hope I don't regret that. Yeah, napalm bomb from Maruko. And uh, Darurai Soul Burn. They're all attached debuffs. And then when your opponent finally attacks with the units that were debuffed, then it triggers, then they attack. Kind of like Elf's Curse, but not. So here it goes. Here comes the attack, and you're going to see it's going to trigger first, and then the Vegas turn starts. So here comes the trigger, now, and it actually one-shots the entire stack. So his, his slot's going to end. But notice the damage. Not 51 million, it does 126 million, no crit. It's pure spell damage. There is a difference between attack damage and spell damage in this game. I don't go into it too much. Um, honestly, I haven't really delved into it to really figure out who and who and what... Uh, determines that. A lot of the melee skills, like guaranteed hit skills, are going to be uh, 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 melee damage. They're going to factor in your opponent's defense. Um, this one does not. This ignores your opponent's defense, I believe, and it only, they're, only their HP is affected. Now, the other thing interesting about this is you'll notice that um, the Tier 12 airship's HP in this image is significantly higher than a normal... Uh, unit for its tier. So in other words, oh, this is another long conversation. Um, long story short is this ability triggers based off the unit's HP. I'm not sure if you can use your own HP gear to modify the stat. We learned that that did not work with bullet. Um, and even if it did, it's not like people that have tier 12 are going to specifically gear into HP to get more value out of this stat. I don't think they would do that. Uh, so it's not a major concern. It's just something we'll look into in the future. If you know anything about that, put that in the comments below. Um, so one more thing about this. I want to say, oh, let's try that again. There we go. I want to see, does anything happen after that? Uh, it doesn't show the next slot. No, it just ends right there. So, so Bingo obviously provided this to his guild members. They provided it to us. Um, and that's and that's the best of the replay. Uh, is there anything else? Yes, this skill probably does not ignore tier suppression. Not that it really matters because it's tier 12. Um, but in this game, generally, skills get reworded but mostly reused. So time bombs, napalm bombs, soul burn on those three commanders, Dururai and Maruko and Lady and Beast, are all the same skills. And we know that they are guaranteed hit skills. Like I, That's what I want to say. This is a guaranteed hit skill because it is an, a, it is an applied debuff uh, as opposed to a skill that just, you know, like, um, like Kid who has, he will do three attacks. Well, those three attacks aren't guaranteed to hit, so he can just miss three times in a row. Or Cerberus, Cerberus for example, um, which is why they're not very valuable skills. But um, the guaranteed hit skills that you see on like Golem and Raymond and, and Vega are very valuable, but usually there's some kind of a drawback. Um, and the drawback is they usually don't hit as hard. Well, on this skill, it is a guaranteed hit, and the drawback to it is it doesn't hit right away. It hits only when your opponent attacks. So in this situation, because he's higher level, his slots will always be going first, even if he one-shots, assuming it's not the Awakening. I don't want to get too complicated with that. Um, but he's going to get good value out of it, and it's just a free skill that's built into the airship, and I think I could probably talk for another 20 minutes about this, but 
I don't have much more to talk about. I think that pretty much covers it, why people come to these videos. That's what they were looking for. They want the replay. Uh, they want to see the stats. They want to know how it does. So let's, let's conclude it all, put it all back together. Tier 12 is here. Uh, the cost of it is in line with Tier 9, 10, and 11, except for the new element. Uh, it's 900 units instead of 450 like Tier 9, which is normal. It goes up 450 for Tier 9, 600 for Tier 10, 750 for Tier 11, 900 for Tier 12. The price is about the same as well as far as resources. 9 million per is about right. Uh, the stats are crazy on it. The HP on it is, is really crazy. And the skill that it triggers is a guaranteed hit, but it is a debuff guaranteed hit. It is spell damage. It cannot crit. Uh, and then innate HP is mostly higher. Uh, the last thing I will say is that it kind of looks like tier 6, does it not? Look at the Arenos, and then look at this. So I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, let's take chapter 1, there are 20. So I'm going to show you this one here. And look at the... Oh, did it go? Oh, it didn't go. Okay, that's weird. The game paused, but this is showing it. So you notice how the laser picks up and then attacks? Laser picks up and then it attacks. Okay, now look at this one. Let's go to here. Laser picks up and it attacks. Here it comes. See, here it comes on the left. Are you watching the left? Very similar. Very similar, but it is slightly different. There's a bit more of an explosion on the Tier 12. Uh, so the sprites are different, but not much different. They look very similar. They are very similar. So maybe they took the texture and just bumped it up and added some, some new colors palette to it and all that. But uh, that's the end of this video. That's the Tier 12, the Origin airship. I want to do the Tier 12 uh, infantry and walkers when I get them. If you have guildmates that have them, put the videos on YouTube, contact me online, uh, and I will do those as well because uh, they're neat, right? And you're only going to see this if you watch this video or you're part of those communities. If you haven't joined the communities and you're only a YouTube fan, check the description below. Message me personally online, the app. I will invite you to the community channels where you can hang out with all the other players who watch this channel or don't watch this channel um, and interact and share all the early stuff. You can also get... Um, you know, fresh videos from other YouTube creators like Ridiculous Badger. If you haven't followed Ridiculous Badger, go to YouTube or go in the description below. Or go to the comments below. Someone put his link to his channel. He's putting out a lot of new content for Ark of War. So go and support him. He's putting out a lot of great stuff. So shout out to Ridiculous Badger. All right. End of the video. That's it. We covered it. If I miss anything, check the comments below. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. My name is Mel. Thanks for watching. Remember, peace is bad for business. Out.